hello again quick video for you this time on how we can actually export an RVT Revit project file directly from Inventor without necessarily having Revit installed on our machine at all so um, in Inventor you've got the ability to export ADSK files IFC files and RFA files to the BIM environment but not RVT files by default but there is a a hack for this which hasn't really been publicized by Autodesk the information has just had to filter down through the Autodesk channel but as a byproduct of an IFC export from Inventor you get a temporary RVT Revit project file being created in your temp location on your um, on your C drive um, and all this video focuses on is a simple iLogic rule to automatically extract that RVT and just save it in a location of your choice so it's easily available and you don't have to go to your temp directory each time. Okay, so um, really nice and easy. I'll show you the, the RVT file that's created first and then we'll just extract it with the iLogic rule. Okay, so I'm going to go to Environments and BIM Exchange inside Inventor, Export Building Components. And I'm just going to say I want to export an IFC file. So I'm not too concerned here. Um, I'll just call this uh, IFC export. Not too concerned here about anything like properties and you know the origin axis and all that. I just want an IFC export. So you can, you'll see in the temp location here as I'm exporting that various files are being created. At some point towards the end of the export operation. Um, an RVT file is going to be created in this location and then we just simply run the iLogic rule to uh, to save it straight from Inventor without having to navigate around in Windows. Okay there we go so we've exported our IFC and there is the temporary Revit file that's been created I'll leave that temp location open and uh, here's the uh, iLogic rule so if I just run this rule it asks me where do you want to save this the extracted Revit file so I'll just save it here and I'll call it Revit uh, extract RVT extract and if I say save there um, that file's then copied it's removed from the temp location and it's saved to a location of my choice, or the location I just told it to. So if I say open now, there's the RVT extract. And I'll open it in Revit now. So all that all that does really is find the latest RVT file in your temp folder, which will be the one that you've just exported. So just bear that in mind, that's how it actually works. And if I open that RVT file in uh, inside Revit, and uh, just put it in a in a finer level of detail there we are so there's the RVT files no um, faceting or anything like that on it it does have a bounding box on it uh, of course bounding box um, hope you find that a uh, little utility useful in some way thanks very much